I was able to break through and be elected House Majority Whip and serve on the Powerful Budget Subcommittee in the State House and also serve as the only woman chair of a House and Senate Standing Committee. When I served, I was the only woman of all the chairs and standing committees. I was the woman chair of the House Children and Family Affairs Committee. And I'm proud of these accomplishments, and I'm thankful. And I was pleased with the help of God and with Tabitha Williams, who lost her child, and Adrian, and many others, despite incredible opposition to pass major child care reform after the tragic deaths of two babies left in daycare vans in Memphis. The book describes the corruption that has left and many powerful politicians and other religious leaders who are in the business and put financial interests above the well-being of the helpless children. I'm glad I was there to be one of the champions for the children. What is shown in the book, and I believe a challenge on our, for our community, is the musical chairs, the recycling of politicians, the status quo mentality, the failure to use all talent, that often those who try to bring really needed reforms are disregarded or ostracized. But more than ever, the public needs the truth and the real facts. The next generations are looking at us. I see some young people here. Where are the Memphis Mayor female role models for young girls? Where the portraits of 46 men who have served as Memphis on the, on the, as mayor on the Walk City Hall? Why are there no women? Why does our state always rank in the bottom? on the social, political, and economic progress of women in national reports. This is a civil rights issue. Now, I want to thank Jackson Baker, who I hope can make it. But sometimes I call him to task in the book, and some others, Mr. Sampson is here as well, uh, and some others in the press and the media. But I want to particularly thank today uh, Jackson Baker and the editor of the Memphis Flyer, um, who for publishing a po positive review of the arena, one woman's story, and Mary Beth Conley and Alex Coleman on WREG News 3, who had me on to talk about it just this week, they have stepped up to acknowledge that gender in our city needs to be addressed. I hope others will follow. The book is not just about my dreams of being a mayor. It's about the dreams of all young girls and women to excel, to be respected, to serve, and to make a contribution.